For everything, there is a season. You've heard that, right? For some reason, I thought that was Shakespeare. So I had to look it up to remind myself that it's from the Bible, Ecclesiastes. The reason that I bring that up today is because just as there is a season for everything else under the sun, there is a seasonality to cognition. And some seasons are better than others. It turns out that at certain times of the year, cognition can improve or get worse. And that's true of all older adults, regardless of whether they have normal age-related memory decline or mild cognitive impairment or even dementia. And it may be true of you. Hi. I'm Tony Daring of GoCogno.com, the website for mild cognitive impairment. There was a study that came out last fall, and I've been meaning to do a video about it, but I've just never gotten around to it until now. And now is actually a good time because there is a seasonality to it, and this is the peak season. What researchers in Toronto wanted to know is, are there times of year when people's cognitive performance tends to be better or worse? And it turns out there are, and these seasonal fluctuations in cognition prove to be far greater than expected. Here's what you need to know about this study. Researchers looked at data involving more than 3,000 older adults enrolled in three different studies in the United States, Canada, and France. All of the people involved had neuropsychological testing, and some were also tested for the genes associated with Alzheimer's disease. What they found was for these thousands of adults, whether they had cognitive impairment or not, they showed better cognitive skills in the late summer and early fall than in the winter and spring. In fact, the seasonal difference was significant, the equivalent of 4.8 years of age-related cognitive decline. What's more, they found that the odds of a person meeting the clinical criteria for MCI were more than 30% higher in winter and spring than in the late summer or early fall. So seasonally speaking, this is the time of year when you may be at your cognitively best, whereas in March and April, the opposite may be true. The study doesn't explain why that might be the case, but Dr. Andrew Lim, the lead researcher, has some theories. He suggests that more light in warmer temperatures may boost cognition. And that's interesting because there may be treatments like phototherapy or temperature modification that could help compensate for that in the winter months. He also notes that summer is a time when we tend to get more exercise, sleep better, and eat a healthier diet. In addition, Lim points out that we are most prone to seasonal depressive disorder in the winter, and perhaps that takes a toll not just on our mood, but on our cognition. One of my goals in these videos every week, always, is to tell you something new that you haven't already heard a hundred times. This is new and important and interesting, and over time it's actually probably going to be bring some changes to the way that cognitive impairment was diagnosed and treated. The better you understand what's going on with you, the better equipped you are to deal with it. It could be something as basic as travel. If you are someone who finds that you're cognitively better at certain times of the year, you might plan a trip in late August or early September rather than in February, that kind of thing. So how about you? Do you notice any seasonal swings in your cognition? Let me know, leave a comment below, or send me an email at tonydaring at gocogno.com. 
I hope to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, as always, be kind to your mind.